Hey everyone, Becca here from the Naval Family Homestead and today I'm going to take you on our first garden tour of the season. Um, it is still very early in our garden season here in the Pacific Northwest. We've only had some of our starts in for maybe a week so everything's going to look pretty small or non-existent but we still want to take you on a tour of everything that we're doing here on our farm and yeah, I think it's going to be really exciting. So I hope you like it. And then also I'm going to show you our new little micro greenhouse that we have and our plants with that. Okay, so I'm going to take you out here and show you our new little micro greenhouse. And uh, I'm going to show you everything that we're growing on the inside of it. Okay, so this is the type of greenhouse we got. It's like a four by six greenhouse that we got off of Tractor Supply. It opens like that. My thermometer in here. It's about 95 degrees in here right now, which is pretty good. Um, this was a pain to put together. I don't think I'll ever own something like this again. We had all these bolts and everything it just was the directions were terrible but so far it's held up pretty good not too bad all right so what I'm going to show you is some of the starts I've gotten here that are not ready to go out because it's still too cold and they're still pretty small over here we have some orange top hat tomatoes from Baker Creek that one in the back is probably not going to make it but I at least have four these are you know, a micro type of plant. So they're really good for pots. They're not going to get very big. Probably maybe that big. They're very small. And they produce little orange cherry type tomatoes. Here I have my Chadwick cherry tomatoes, which produce a larger red type of cherry tomato. This is my first year growing them. These are also from Baker Creek. They're doing really well. This one has two in it. I'll probably split those. And then here I have different types of peppers. I have bananas, pineapple, and I'm guessing this one's a pineapple too. I made the mistake of not labeling the peppers, or I had them labeled and they were separated into their different varieties. And then when I brought them out here, they all got mixed up. So there's like a, a huge mix up with the peppers. So I have no idea what's what. Some are Anaheim, some are banana, some are pineapple. Maybe a poblano, but I really, I won't know until they grow, <laughs> so we'll see. And then down here I have some Wisconsin 55s. These ones are doing a lot better than the ones above them. I just transplanted these ones yesterday. They weren't doing good in their seed plug tray, so I don't even know what's going to make it. These ones are doing amazing down here. Probably going to move them off this so they get a little more light. And then over here, I have some stuff started for my dad. And then I have some onions. I really need to water in here. And then um, more. These are all Anaheim's. I did figure those ones out. So those are all Anaheim chilies. And then some more stuff started here for my dad and myself. And yeah, so that's currently what we have in our greenhouse. I'm going to keep this door open so it cools down a little bit in here. Um, oh, and I do have one more fig tree I need to plant. And yeah, but everything's going good. Let me take you over to where I've got stuff hardening off now. All right. I have this gazebo here and it's actually perfect to use this table for potting and hardening things off. Um, here I've got some marigolds. I started from I started everything from seed. My neighbor um, has a nursery and they sell starts, so I'll probably get stuff from them once the coronavirus kind of calms down out here. Um, but for now, I'm just starting everything from seed. I've got some scarlet kale, cabbage, and more cucumbers. A lot of these are going to go to my dad because I already have a lot of these already in the garden which our new garden area is right over there. And then we also have an in-ground one, which I um, 
fenced off from the chicken area. I let it rest for a while and then I tilled it and planted some stuff out there and that stuff's doing really good. And then I'll open it back up when it's all done and let the chickens clear it up. And then over there we've got behind the chickens, we've got some areas tarped down to where we're going to plant some more stuff. So, all right, I'm going to take you out here to the garden, new garden area and kind of show you around. So our soil here at our house is okay. It's since we're close to the river, it's really rocky. And we have a lot of moles, which is a pain. And um yeah, so we tried to plant stuff when we first moved here last year right in the ground. We tilled it and we had no luck. Weeds were really bad. The soil was super rocky. Um, it was terrible and I'll do a video on, you know, some before and afters of our property, but basically this whole place was covered in blackberries. It was just terrible. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I'm going to flip the camera around here in a little bit and I'm going to kind of show you different things that are growing right now. We do have a lot of empty beds because stuff is still starting and it's still a little cold here in my zone. We're zone 8A here in Washington and outside of um, Seattle. So it's, uh, well, we're about an hour south of Seattle. So, um, but yeah, so I'm gonna flip this around and show you what I've got going on right now. Okay, so the beds along the fence here, they're gonna have a wide variety of different things. This first one is almost full with seeds or things in it. In the back row here, I have a ton of cucumbers. I definitely overplanted, but I have a stand-up trellis that's gonna go right here, so I'm going to trellis them up the fence, bring them over with tape. I have garden tape, and then trellis them on that. Just a little bit, these ones that are on the end, and then my thought over here, trellis these ones up to go along this way. Everything is gonna go up and this way with tape tucked in. And then down here have some different zucchinis here that have not popped up yet. But down here, let's see if I can see them. Right here, I have some Swiss chard. And I saw one the other day popping up, but I don't know where it went now. And then I do have some bok choy. Let's see. This is my first time growing bok choy and it's purple lady bok choy. So I've never really planted it or cooked with it, but I wanted to try it. It looks really pretty. So we're going to try it this year. Then I have a couple um, empty spots right here. Let's see. I got some weeds I need to pull. This is real life. I mean, there's weeds and stuff growing, but do what you can. I have some onions that I started from seed here, and then behind that I have some Kentucky Wonder beans, and the same thing, I was thinking the same thing with the cucumbers once they sprout up, and then take them over to the left here, and then that's it for that box. I do have a lot of blank spaces out here. Then this little area, you can kind of see them starting to come up, those are my sugar snap peas. I overplanted in this area. I have some teepees I'm going to put up so they will stay here. We love to eat sugar snap peas. So there's a lot right there, but I'm doing the square foot gardening method. If you're not familiar with that, I'll see if I can link some videos about that um, in the notes below. And uh, we this is our first year trying it, and we're just trying to maximize what we plant in the amount of space. And here, I'm going to back up. My first arched cattle panel trellis. We're gonna be planting some different squash on these. In these beds here, we have two big beds in the middle. There'll be different types of tomatoes and squash. And then over here, I'm trying this pool garden. And everything's doing okay. It's a little wilty, this cabbage. Um, I just transplanted that. But it's still got some new leaves coming in. 
So it's, it'll be all right. It's pretty hardy. So then I have some kale. And these right here are all calendula and zinnias that'll be in the back. And then the rocks Lucas planted. <laughs> he made sure to plant some stuff for us. And then we have this electric netting. Not sure how long this is going to last. But we're going to take this roll and just go down the side. And here we're going to be planting our winter squash. Let's see if I can back up a little bit. Our winter squash. So that way it vines out towards the shed. So this is an area we had our pigs in that really helped. Actually we had them kind of everywhere. Even where we have this now. They really helped us clear it. We have some potato bags that currently are growing rocks that Lucas put in. It's still too wet to plant potatoes here, so probably wait another week or so, and then we'll dump those out, and then these are going to be for russets, so then you keep piling the dirt on as they grow. I have two more cattle panel trellises here, and those will be for your squash and some melons. I have some golden jenny melons that are like a cantaloupe a plant and in the center of those I have some calendula and I think there's a zinnia in there too um, the calendula or calendula however you pronounce it uh, it's beautiful and it has medicinal purposes too good for healing burns putting into salves and then there's some sad zinnias I need to get in there and water it's supposed to rain later so I'm contemplating if I want to water now. I don't want to overwater anything. Another bed here. Probably do some more peppers and stuff in here. We have three beds on this side. Four by eight. Then we have our peonies here that Lucas and I, we planted in our mother-son garden last year. But we ripped that out. And I potted them. We also had the rosemary in the mother-son garden. That garden was just... In rough shape so we pulled it potted it and they're getting ready to bloom I'm really excited to see how they bloom they're really they're gonna be really pretty so and we love rosemary we have so much rosemary around the property from us planting some dahlias in there some new blueberries we've started them just in the pots until we figure out where we want to put the bushes because Currently, we don't know. <laughs> we don't know. Um, another, another pot here with a giant trellis. So my dad gave me these trellises. They're like giant tomato cages from his buddy. And I had these huge pots that I got for free. So this whole setup was free. Um, except for obviously the soil we put in. And in here I have more Kentucky Wonder pole beans and hopefully they'll pull up this whole area it'll be really pretty I can't wait to show you guys that later later in the spring and then in here I have some more calendula zinnias and then I did do direct sow some acorn bush squash um, I did those a little early because of all I thought what the heck why not and so we'll see if those come up then I have my super tilted trellis that I've had for, gosh, six years. And it, you know, it's seen better days, but it'll work just fine. And with that, this one right here, this is going to be really pretty. So this right here is called Kiss Me Over the Garden Gate. And it is a plant start I got from Azure Standard. And it is going to get, hopefully, between 6 to 8 feet tall. And then we're going to have it drape over this archway. And then I'm also, on the other side, I'm going to plant some yard-long beans. So that mixed with this bright pink and red from this flower, I think that's going to be really pretty entrance to our garden then here I've got another marigold some more zinnias another calendula and then I have some sunflowers I need to plant some more sunflowers and then I have some more greens 
here in the corner some lettuce some spinach things that needed to be transplanted and again it's not perfect you know but it works and you know this stuff's really cold hardy so it'll do really well so yeah so that's what we have going on over here in our new little raised bed area we have some tubs over there nothing is in that black tub right now i'm probably gonna do carrots in there oh i forgot this oh it's a new thing oh also do your greens or maybe even a broccoli in a hanging basket i love this type of vertical gardening this right here is dwarf kale and arugula it's doing phenomenal in here and i like it it's you know out of my beds it's right here it's pretty it's a nice little feature i like that i think i'm going to do that from now on i've had this shepherd took for a while too so and um in this bed right here i got this container on sale last season from tractor supply it looks like i'm gonna cover the holes a little better um this right here this is all parsnips on this side and this will be probably my rainbow carrots on that side. Um, we love carrots. And my nephews love carrots. So I'm planting them some stuff in our garden since they can't at their house. So, But yeah, so that right there is our little raised bed area. I'm excited. It's kind of a hot mess right now. But as the weeks go on, it's going to get a lot better. All right, so I'm going to take you around and show you some other areas that we have planted okay so this area is really weedy and full of grass and everything um, I'm gonna get in there and uh, show you everything up close but it's it's pretty it's pretty bad but stuff's still growing so but yeah so I'm gonna show you everything and everything that's growing in this in-ground garden that we tried this year. Okay, so this right here is my overgrown in-ground garden that I need to come in here and weed. It's embarrassing, but it's, you know, I'm being honest at least. <laughs> this is not the Instagram or YouTube perfect garden, but I'm gonna go around and show you everything that we've got without trying to step on everything. Hi, what, you gonna come over here? So, my chickens, they're so nosy. Yeah, they're dying to get in here too. <laughs> so in this little area right here, as you can see, I have blackberries coming up. <laughs> but um, I have some salad blend in here from Baker Creek. It's doing really well. Again, I need to come in here and weed, but it's doing good. And then right next to it, I have some arugula that's doing amazing it's really spicy i'm actually gonna pull this out and eat it in a minute try it then over here i have some head lettuce and what looks like a mole is about to pull through here but i have some head lettuce that's doing really well come in and thin these out little bit there but yeah it's doing what is here is doing really well and yeah so that's this row then over here oh uh, yes this is okay I'm gonna think for a second this is some kale and I had cabbage here but I forgot I had cabbage here, so I raked it up. <laughs> and then I no longer had cabbage here. But I do have some carrots behind that. I need to come in and thin out. Um, I also forgot I had carrots back here. <laughs> so I need to come in and do a lot of work in this garden. But, you know, it's okay. Nothing's perfect. And then in this row very proud of these this is my first successful growth ever of radishes and they are doing really good starting to see 
some root development on these bad boys. Beautiful. Bye. But yeah, they're doing really good. I'm the only one that likes radishes in my family, so I'm super pumped that these will be <laughs> for me. <laughs> um, over here I have some beets. These are, I want to say bull's blood. They come in here and weed again. And then in this one, right next to it, I have some golden beets, which are struggling. This, yeah, I kind of let this go, but that's okay. And then over here, I have some spinach that's doing really well. My spinach in the ground is doing better than what I have in, this, in the pot. So I might go ahead and plant some more spinach out here. Oh, someone laid an egg. Wonder who it was. <laughs> so yeah, the spinach is doing really good. Let's see. Behind me, I have some random kale that I didn't think was going to make it. I'm just letting them go. I'm watering them. But it's all doing well, so I'm just leaving it. Again, I have some turnips here. Never grown turnips before. They're doing okay. I'll probably plant some more turnips and beets in the raised bed garden. Just because I don't think they're going to do very well out here. But, yeah. So, that is this little test garden. And I can say that using where the chickens were really has helped some of these plants. So, I think what I'm going to do is quarter off this entire run. And then, every year, kind of rotate around and keep an area let it rest, and then plant in it, and then let the chickens in there, just to give them some good greens, and also keep the grass growing, and I think they'd like that. We do plan on putting some in chicken tractors out there, we just need to get those built. Alright, so over here, let me take you to this other area where we've got plants. So up here, where that tarp is, is where we're going to plant a little bit of corn. And then back here, we're going to put the paper down and do a no-till method where you put the paper, layer compost, and then put the weed barrier on top. So, yeah, we're going to try that and see if, how that works. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm really excited for all this food. It's going to be amazing. So here I've got my arugula mm, that's good a little spicy but that's really good mm. can't wait for more of that to come in so I'm gonna give some to the chickens now hi you guys want some arugula <laughs> Who laid an egg? I don't know, they're being awfully noisy. Gosh, those dust holes are insane. I need to come in and fill those up. So, can you say hello? Can you say hello? You guys are molting really bad. Woof da. Woof da. Hey girl. <gasps> Hi leggy. Hi baby. I love our leghorns. They're so friendly. You need a bath. Y'all are molting so bad. Woof da. There's one Easter egg that looks like she got electrocuted. She's molting so bad. Well, I just want to say thank you for coming on this little garden tour with me. We'll be doing more over the season. Uh, make sure to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel so you can not miss any of what's coming up. We have lots to show in the future. 
All right. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.